Are you a farmer or landowner interested in exploring the benefits of agroforestry but don't know where to start? The Savannah Institute is here to help. By implementing agroforestry practices on your land, you are helping to build a resilient community, ecology, and economy. Learn how you can diversify your income and cultivate the future of agriculture and land management in the Midwest with agroforestry. If we can mimic nature and try and stay out of her way. We can make a difference. It's a long-term investment that you need to be committed. A farm family could make a very good living on as little as 10 acres. There is no natural system without animals. So we're trying to mimic the biodiversity you would see in nature. The perennial crops that we have put in place here, they can potentially live for thousands of years. That's sustainable. We're farming with trees. Agroforestry is the intentional integration of trees and shrubs into crop and animal farming systems to create environmental, economic, and social benefits. There are five main agroforestry practices that farmers across the Midwest are adopting. These practices help farmers leave a legacy that preserves and protects their land for future generations while diversifying income, increasing productivity, conserving natural resources, providing habitat for wildlife, and creating a beautiful landscape. At the Savannah Institute, we have a series of infographics that you can download for free on our website. Inside, you can learn about some of the benefits, challenges, and opportunities in agroforestry practices like forest farming, the cultivation of specialty crops under existing forest canopies, silvopasture, the intentional integration of trees, pasture, and livestock managed as a single system. Windbreaks, strips of trees and shrubs designed to enhance crop or livestock production while providing conservation benefits. Riparian buffers, strips of permanent vegetation alongside a stream, lake, or wetland. Alley cropping, the cultivation of crops in the alleys between regularly spaced rows of trees or shrubs. All of these practices can be applied on your farm, bringing you diverse sources of revenue and healthier farmland. We spoke with some of the Midwest's pioneers in agroforestry to find out why they practice agroforestry on their farms, and this is what they had to say. My goals are to have an easy system to manage that is profitable by itself. I like the money, that's kind of nice. Number two thing is, is that uh, when I go to bed at night, uh, the pecan tree is where I left it, and when I get up in the morning, it's the same place. You can't grow good food out of dead soil. You've got to have biologically rich soil, and that's what our farms are. There's always some apples, though, that fall on the ground, and some that are damaged to the point that they can't be processed. And to use those, we've decided to add animals into the system. So we're turning all of the orchard blocks into paddocks for rotational grazing. We have chestnuts and hazelnuts and grapes and elderberries and currants and raspberries and mulberries <laughs> propagating themselves all by themselves in this system. We don't have to plant the next generation. The next generation plants itself. Now if you can walk away from your farm and it plants itself and it continues to thrive in your place, that's a regenerative system. If you're going to have a good food system, you have to integrate and work with nature. So on this farm, you'll see lots of different biodiversity, whether it be the insects or the animals or the fruits or the vegetables, the crops that we grow, the natural areas that people, some people might look and see as being weeds. Um, those aren't necessarily weeds. They might be something that helps to work with our farm. It has really grown to a huge industry that's actually moving agriculture these days and the marketplace. They're a, a long-term investment. It takes a lot of years to get invested and in, get them in production, but once they get in production, uh, they'll definitely outlive me. At the Savannah Institute, we make it easy for you to find the materials and make the connections that you need to adopt agroforestry practices today. You can find more information on alley cropping, forest farming, riparian buffers, silvopasture, and windbreaks at savannainstitute.org. Savannah Institute, laying the groundwork for widespread agroforestry in the Midwest.